Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to CTN Member Highlights. And today I'm with Bo Bonnie Norlander, the Administrative Director of Tempo Art. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, it's so great to see you again. It's great to see you. It's been a while since we've sat here together, but yeah. you've got something really exciting coming up on October 16th. It's uh, coming up fast. Yeah, um, this coming Monday, it's, um, I can't believe it's already here, but <laughs> this Monday the 16th at 5.30, we're going to be um, having an event at the Cellar Door Winery down at Thompson's Point. And um, basically, it's uh, it's not only a fundraiser for Tempo right. Art, but it's also a celebration of mm -hmm. some pretty amazing landmarks that um, yeah. uh, we've achieved so far. So, and yeah. also an information yeah. time for people to learn more about what Tempo Art's doing and has done. And now yes. you've got a history. Like last year. Um, you'll be celebrating a little bit at this event, I assume, the wonderful artists of 2017. Absolutely, yeah. So if you weren't able to see the works over the summer, or even if you were, mm -hmm. um, as you went around town, maybe you saw the ghost fence um, in the Franklin Arterial by John Sundling, or maybe you happened to drive by also on Franklin and see Christina Beckstein's collaboration with Sister Making and the um, Boyd Street Urban Farm. And then, of course, in August, we had Christian Prash, who did the Occupied Wall over um, by Tommy's mm -hmm. Park. And each of those pieces was really um, a short installation, a temporary installation, as um, is part of our program. Um, but it also allowed us to have educational partners in the community, to have youth react to the work, and really made an interesting impact, I think, on people this summer, being able to see a broader, um, well, a breadth of what we could do um, mm -hmm. after um, the American Dream sculpture. And so it's really exciting to see the, the portfolio grow and we'll also hear from our next artist. Uh, that I am so excited about. Yes. Matthew Maz Mazot Mazoda. Mazoda. Yes. Mazoda. Oh Matthew my gosh. Mazoda. Yeah. We are so excited mm -hmm. to be working with him and Christina Lanzell, who's the curator who brought him to us. And uh, they will be present. Matthew will be speaking a bit mm. about his work. Mm. At this point, we still don't know specifics about what he's going to be doing. He's working on his proposal. Mm -hmm. But um, if you look him up on our Facebook page or oh. online, oh, yeah. uh, his work is really fantastic. Well, in his cloud house is one, it, uh, people, if you don't know about it, you've got to look it up because it's just the most amazing thing I've ever ever seen. So that night, he will be talking. You yes. will have food. Mm -hmm. There'll be a cash bar. Mm -hmm. um, tickets are $40 and up, uh, yes. depending on what level you want to participate. Yeah, so exactly. The details are Monday night, starting at $40. You can either buy a ticket online um, through our website, mm -hmm. tempoartmain.org. Um, or at the door if you come at 5.30 on Monday um, or approximately around that time. Mm -hmm. um, and there will be hors d'oeuvres, there will be a cash bar, and um, we're going to try and keep our words short <laughs> because we really just want to enjoy being together and talking yeah. about the work. Yeah, and a lot of what Tempo Art does, it's, it's art, but it's architecture and activism. It's its all of that together to educate and have people see space in different ways. Yeah, we are really taking advantage with our program of partnering with people who are in the arts education mm -hmm. field, who, um, whether it's uh, Oak Street Studio or whether it's The Telling Room, where uh, we partner with those organizations to really um, creatively respond to the artist's work and provoke young people's thinking. And we really hope to um, not only make something beautiful in the community, but also make something that um, engages people civically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
Well, great. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and yeah, I know you, you are. <laughs> yeah, and it's so. really going to be a fantastic event, and we'll have, um, uh, you know, of course, our summer artists. We hope all of them will attend, and Matthew will be there, and it's really an opportunity to access the people who are making this happen mm -hmm. and celebrate with them and also just learn directly from them about the work. Mm -hmm. And to find out yeah. more about it, they can call you or go online. Absolutely. Um, so my contact information is on the website. Um, people can go to our website, tempoartmain.org, mm -hmm. click on Catalyst, which is the name of the event. Um, essentially symbolizing that we have something that we've started and we need it to continue growing and be catalyzed into the communities. Well, great, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you, I really appreciate it.